Joe Zekas from Yo Chicago. I'm out here on top of 600 Lakeshore Drive this morning with uh, Buzz Ruttenberg and Lou Graziano. And here in the mechanical room on top of one of the towers at 600 Lakeshore Drive, the place nobody ever gets to go. That's correct. That's and Lou's the guy who makes this place hum. <laughs> Absolutely. What? He's the ship's captain when it comes to the equipment down here. These are all his, and you will notice that you're, his... You're is, saying down here, but we're 450 some feet know, up in the air. I know, 450 <laughs> feet up in the air. And what's interesting, because of the location near the lake, we couldn't put the equipment in the basement because you run a risk of flooding. So all the equipment's on the roof, where, where it's much safer and cleaner. And you also have gravity as your friend because a lot of things get pushed down. So let's... Joe, talk to tell me. Tell me uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're between the, the uh, heating boilers of the building for the North Tower. Uh, brand new cellars, boilers. Two, uh, two boilers? Two boilers. Uh, in a lead lag. So we never run two at any given time. We you know, run one and they, they switch over. What, what I think when I look at these, uh, I had bigger boilers in 40 <laughs> unit courtyard sure, buildings. Sure, sure. Uh, the technology today is everything smaller. I run uh, the Billings Operation System on a uh, software, a medicine software system. Uh, fantastic equipment. When the pumps are kicking on and you desire heat in your unit, the heat is there within, within minutes. One, um, of the, uh, one of the objections that people have to a uh, number of luxury buildings is that there's only a two-pipe heating and cooling system. What's the story here? Yeah, I, I've actually worked in buildings with two-pipe system. Uh, unfortunately, when you're in a two-pipe system, you're kind of stuck to the season. Uh, and in Chicago, you know, we have uh, our cold, cold winters, uh, and sometimes lasting a little longer than should. And sometimes we'll have a little bit warmer weather during the uh, March and April months. Uh, so we're very fortunate with the four-pipe system that we can have uh, on at all at, at any given time if you desire to have heat or cooling just uh, program your thermostat and that will cause two pipes, are for cooling. two pipes are for cooling and two pipes for the heating what are uh, what are we looking at here we're looking at the domestic hot water boilers these are uh, Lars that's it and uh, yeah that's all it takes uh, and we hold I think it's storage about 30,000 gallons, and uh, I will show you right right behind us here is a storage container uh, for the uh, best hot water. It all uh, looks so simple from the outside, but I have to believe the engineering is uh, a marvel. How does the physical equipment get up here? Does it come by helicopter? Or that's, or the... that's correct. Physical equipment during the process of building the building comes up with helicopters and uh, giant cranes are lifted and they're put into place. So this would be lifted up by the crane, maybe? That's or? correct. Okay. That's correct. And you can see the back wall here with the venting. This was all dismantled at one time prior to this coming in, prior to the ceilings and cement being put in, so it's, it's dropped into place. And there would be a similar room to this in the other tower? That's correct. Correct. We uh, here at 600 have two towers, so this is the North Tower. Similar equipment and everything run through a uh, software system called Medicis. And another feature of, uh, of all of our sensitivities today is, of course, the environmental component. And unlike the old days where you had metal pipes exposed, you'll see in our mechanical equipment, all of it is insulated. So these are hot water pipes, for example, that are fully insulated with a plastic wrap to keep the temperature retained in the pipe so that the water isn't warm. Here is the big storage uh, tank that Lou was talking about, and this is wrapped with a piece of insulation. What you can see here is about an inch thick of rubber. Inside, you could burn your finger. On the outside, it's uh, cool and room temperature. So we're being very sensitive. Look at this. This, this looks like a Cristo sculpture, right? It's all wrapped. <laughs> well, we are, is, we are at the Art Institute of Belgravia. We are at so. the Art Institute of Belgravia, but this is another form of insulation, and this is cold water, is that right? Yes. And the yes. purpose of this, like a plastic stripping wrap, is to keep the cold water from sweating yes. and corrosiveness as well. And you didn't bring Cristo in to do that? Uh, well, not quite. And this is a very important feature. <laughs> this is so that the people who work here can have a cold drink because if you can't fuel the human capital, you can't fuel the building. There's is, a, uh, is that the hardest uh, piece of equipment to maintain here? In the uh, room? Yeah, yes it's it hard is. Hard to keep full. Hard to keep full. Uh, I want to point out a piece of equipment that's right above us. It's a humidification system 
Here we provide humidification not only into the units, but into the uh, common area hallways. It's a big plus because uh, hallway ventilation is uh, another major issue in some of the buildings. Yes. Yeah. We're looking at the equipment now that uh, provides the uh, chemical feeding for the cooling towers. We have two towers here uh, on top of the, the roof deck of Six Heart Lakeshore Drive. And uh, this is a nice piece of equipment. Uh, it, it's running off a little uh, computer and it's calibrated to uh, a certain amount of uh, chemicals pr to provide uh, uh, good water treatment for the cooling tower. You have to keep the water treated so it doesn't get corrosive. We know that there's naturally minerals in the water and rather than clean out the pipe to replace them in 20 or 30 years, the technology today is available that you can regularly clean the pipes as you use it, which A, extends the useful life of the pipe and B, is environmentally sensitive as well. You know, the, uh, the, the other thing that's striking to me as I walk around here, Lou uh, and Buzz, is uh, how, how clean it all is. It's not, it's not the typical boiler room that I'm used to being in. Yeah, right now, there's a little bit of storage in here. The, the lawn chairs and furniture are, are, will be put out for the weekend. Uh, this that room will be empty. The floor is epoxied in case if there's any water onto the floor that would not cause any damage to the floor below. But the cleanliness is really Lou. That is how Lou runs the building. He has a, how big is your staff here now? Lou? The staff is a staff of nine. We're around the clock, 24 hours a day. Uh, and every member of the staff does their part in uh, taking care of the building here. Keeping it clean and being computer savvy. Used to be we thought of a building engineer or in the small buildings, a building janitor, as somebody who was very friendly and good with a broom. Today, and spoke Yugoslavian. And, <laughs> and maybe spoke Yugoslavian with maybe a little English. But nowadays you have to be computer savvy in order to run all the equipment. You need to be able to manage the elevator issues from time to time as well as the, the essential mechanicals. And you have to be great with people. And Lou is all of that. And we're very, very fortunate to have Lou on our team. Lou, thanks for uh, the brief tour. Enjoyed Thank you. It.